Welcome to Harper Classroom, series of instructional videos. This video is on the introduction to linear programming. I will start with a simple math tutorial and use that to define linear programming. So let's start with a math tutorial and plot points in two dimensions. Consider these two points. 2, 1. I come over 2 on the x-axis, come up 1 on the y-axis, and so that point has an x value of 2 and a y value of 1. The point 1, 2, I come over 1 and up 2, so I can plot points in two dimensions. I can also plot lines in two dimensions. Consider these three lines. Well, first, x equals 1. Well, I know that x equals 1 in this point right here, but every point along this line has an x value of 1. So equations plot as lines. What about the equation y equals 2? I know y equals 2 right here, so every point along this line has a y value of 2, so that equation plots as that line. Well, the equation x plus y equals 3 also plots as a line, but where's the line? Well, two points define a line. Find two points which satisfy the equation. Connect the points, you have the line. So if x equals 0, for equality to hold, y has to be 3. So 0, 3 is one point on the line because it satisfies the equation. If y equals 0, for equality to hold, x has to be 3. So 3, 0 is another point on the line. Connect the points, I have the line. I can also plot inequalities in two dimensions. Let's consider these three inequalities. First, x is less than or equal to 1. Well, I know x equals 1 is this line right here, but all the points to the left of that will have an x value less than or equal to 1. So this inequality plots as a half space, where the boundary of the half space is the equation, x equals 1. What about the inequality y is greater than or equal to 2? Well, I know y equals 2 is this line right here, which is the boundary of the half space, but everything above that, y will be greater than 2. So that inequality plots as a half space where the boundary is the equation. The inequality x plus y is less than or equal to 3. Well, I know the boundary is the equation x plus y equals 3. But if I pick one point on one side or the other, let's say this side, 0, 0, well, 0, 0 is less than 3, so the lower left half space represents that inequality. I can also identify regions that satisfy more than one requirement. Let's look at these two. For example, x is less than or equal to 1, and y is greater than or equal to 2. What region of points will satisfy both of these simultaneously? Well, x is less than or equal to 1 is everything to the left of this line. y greater than or equal to 2 is everything above this line. So this region of points right here will satisfy both of these simultaneously. What about these two sets? y is greater than, greater than or equal to 2 is everything above this line x plus y is less than or equal to 3 is everything below this line. So this region of points here will satisfy both of these inequalities simultaneously. So now, let me take this simple math tutorial and define a linear program. Let's start with these three inequalities. And if I plot all three of these, this region of points will satisfy all three of these simultaneously. Which brings me to the question, of all these points in this region, which satisfy all three of these simultaneously, which point or points will yield a maximum for the value of x? Well, the maximum x can be is going to be that point right there. Well, that point right there is 3, 0. So this is called a linear program, and I will abbreviate it LP, and that point is the solution to this LP. And so there's the definition of a linear program. Well, let's change this slightly. Let's change this x to a y. What is the solution to this LP? Well, the maximum y can be in this region is that point there. So 0, 3 is a solution to this LP. Well, let me change the max to a min. And let me include both x and y here. Well, what's the minimum of x plus y? Well, if I add x and y together, the minimum is going to be that point right there. So 0, 0 is a solution to this LP. So I've had three LPs and three solutions. 
Well, let me change this very slightly. Let me keep x plus y, but change this min back to a max. And what's the solution to this LP? Well, the maximum that x plus y can be, we can see that 3, 0, 0, 3, 1, 2, 2, 1, even 1 and a half, 1 and a half. Every point on this line segment is a solution to an LP. Well, this brings up a couple of very important points. The first is multiple solutions. Here is a math problem that I want an optimal solution, and the answer is an infinite number of points. It's not just one point. The second is the solution is real number. It can be integer, non-integer, it can be uh, rational, irrational, but the answer are real numbers. 1.5, 1.5, 2.1. And if you want answers to be integer or some special type of number, that's a different type of math programming. So now let's look at terminology. Terminology is important. Terminology is how we describe things, how we explain things, how we analyze things. So let's start with the objective function. The objective function is the x plus y. Not the max or min, just the x plus y, whatever goes in that area there. Next is the constraint set. All of our inequalities represent a constraint set. Next is decision variables. In this case, we have two, x and y. Later, we will have more than two. Next is the feasible region. It's the region of points which satisfy the constraint set. And finally is extreme points. And extreme points is contained in this loosely stated LP theorem. The optimal solution to an LP, if it exists, will always occur at one or more extreme points. So an extreme point over here is a feasible point which is at the extreme corner of the feasible region. And sometimes they're called corner points. And in this simple example, we have three extreme points, three corner points. Well, you have to be careful what the LP theorem says and what it does not say. What it says is that if you have an optimal solution, that optimal solution will contain at least one extreme point. It can contain more than one extreme point. For example, this problem has two extreme points. But it does not say that the optimal solution has to be an extreme point. This problem here, we have points that are between the extreme points. The points along this line are not extreme points, but they are optimal points. But extreme points are important because this is how we uh, identify solutions, explain solutions, and analyze solutions. So this math tutorial will establish some terminology within LP uh, with the LP theorem. So now we'll start applying this in Excel and applying this to different problems in business. That ends the video Introduction to Linear Programming. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.